At the beginning of the year, I don't think a lot of people had expectations for me. I've kind of set the, the bar pretty high for myself, so that's added motivation for me to kind of come out and be like, this is who I am as a player. This is no fluke. People are like, oh, Mark Anthony, great player for LAFC, but, you know, it was only 20 games. I don't want the butts anymore. The way the game started, it was great. The atmosphere was great. The fans were ready for it, and we were up one nothing. Yeah, everything kind of changed so quickly. I remember just dribbling forward and then just tried to kind of turn away from it. It literally felt like I got kicked very hard. Next thing you know, I was on the ground and I was holding my ankle and I looked down my ankle and it was the size of a softball. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. Physically and mentally, there's a lot of wear and tear. Everything is good when you're playing and you're scoring goals, but when you're not playing, it's, it's very tough to, to be that good person in the locker room, to you know support your teammates, support the team in general. And I think that the strongest players in the world overall are the ones that are able to deal with the mental part of the game the best. I grew up in a big city like Toronto, and obviously you have dreams of playing for your hometown and being that, that, that player that kids look up to. I had an opportunity to try and make it with an MLS team in my hometown, and it didn't end up working, but I knew that if I kept pushing hard enough that eventually I would break through the scene. It was a long time coming. Finally putting pen to paper was like, okay, that was definitely a, a big moment in my life. Now I have the same opportunity here. I'm lucky enough to have come here at the very beginning. Already I think people will remember the names of the people on the inaugural roster, but for me it's more than that. I, I think I've been given an opportunity to really connect with the fans and create something special. One of the benefits of being injured is seeing it from a different perspective. I realized that this could be a learning experience for me and just understanding how much more space there is in the midfield and the, the right positions to move into. It's almost like a film session for me, right? Watching it to focus in on training and what players were doing in their movement. The players here have helped me and I was just really excited to get back into the, into the training ground. When you have a bad day, you got 27 other guys who are willing to help you push through it. Training for me is, is very, very important because that's the only thing I really have. It's a shock to my body once I'm now I'm getting back out there and trying to exert all that energy again. That's what pushes me is the, the motivation to get back to where I left off. The key thing right now is trying to figure out how to kind of get my range of motion back with my dorsiflexion. My ankle's stiff, right? The key thing is repetition, battling through this stiffness and just kind of hammering at it, hammering at it over and over again so that Finally, it'll, it'll break away and you have your range of motion back. Hydrotherapy is very important. When I was out for so long, I was itching to get back into a hot tub because your body just gets stiff. The recovery becomes just as important as the, the strength work, the balance work. And hydrotherapy gives you that ability to, you know, kind of just relax after training and get your body to, to go back to where it was before training started. Hydrotherapy is the way to really help flush out the lactic acid. I think I still have a lot to show. I don't want people to just, you know, just remember that Mark Anthony. I want them to look forward to what I can achieve next year.